Good morning. I love the Bible and I wanted to tell you why. I became a Christian on the 18th of March 1979 when I had an experience of the overwhelming love of God and I would put it in these words, I met Jesus. I became convinced that he had died on the cross and risen from the dead and this conviction has never left me. Jesus impressed himself on my consciousness, on my mind, and on my heart. And the very next day, I said to myself, I'd better find out what I've let myself in for. I knew that something had changed. I knew that I was now a follower of Jesus and I'd be a follower of his for the rest of my life. But I didn't know much more than that. So I opened the Bible. I found the shortest book I could find, Galatians, and I started reading. And at the beginning of chapter three, I read this verse. Did you receive the spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? And I realised this was what had happened to me. I had received the spirit. Of course, I didn't know what that meant. So I had to keep, keep reading. And Galatians is a remarkable book. And it was probably the best book I could have read in those circumstances to explain to me what had happened to me. And I became an avid reader of the Bible. And I've got some Bibles here that I'd like to just show to you. This is my oldest Bible, my first Bible, the New American Standard Version. And this has been with me for 40 years and been on many adventures. It's been to India and Africa and other places with me. But if I'm honest, the print is quite small and the margins are small. So last year, I um, treated myself to this new Bible. It's the English Standard Version. And the reason I bought this is that it's a journaling Bible with uh, large margins so I can write notes in them. It's also got quite a nice cover. But my most precious Bible, which I keep in its box, is this one. And this is precious. It doesn't look like I've used it much. I've just kept it nicely. I've had this for 34 years. It was a wedding present from my wife, Karen. And she wrote in it, let the word of Christ richly dwell within you. And I've tried to do that over the years. This is a study Bible. So it has um, notes and comments uh, alongside the text. Uh, so that's very, very helpful for digging deeper into the Bible. Those are my main Bibles, and uh, this won't be for everybody, but um, if you'll indulge me, this is my Greek New Testament. I learnt New Testament Greek four or five years ago, and I've been so blessed by that, I've learnt a lot, and it really helps me with my, my understanding. So then I got a Greek Old Testament. And a few weeks ago, for my 60th birthday, some good friends uh, bought me this. A Can you see that? A Hebrew Bible. I'll just show you the text. The only problem with this one is, of course, that I can't read Hebrew. But... Guess what? That's my next project, to learn Hebrew. And I just like getting back to the, as close as possible to the original words, um, the words of Moses, the words written down by the prophets. Um, so that's a whistle-stop tour of my Bibles. I think it's really, really important that we continue with our personal Bible reading while we're not meeting uh, as much with each other at church. So thanks for listening, and I hope that you get as much enjoyment out of reading your Bible as I do out of reading mine.